the Trump administration has officially rolled back protections for people who have defaulted on student loans. Just another piece of evidence showing how he plans on making America great again. Now, this type of protection affected about 7 million borrowers who were part of a federal program that was discontinued back in 2010. Now, Trump's administration revoked federal guidance that barred student debt collectors from charging high fees on these past due loans. So it's just like any other type of loan, right? If you default on it, it goes to collection. And then the collection agency will try to collect that money, obviously, but they can add additional interest and fees to it, which makes it even more unmanageable. And so the Obama administration came in a few years ago and decided, um, maybe it's not a good idea to further punish people who can't pay back their student loan debt by adding these ridiculous fees, right? We want to make it possible for them to pay it back and it becomes even more difficult to pay back if they can't afford these fees. Now, the education department is ordering guarantee agencies that collect debt on defaulted debt to disregard a memo former President Barack Obama's administration had issued that forbid the agencies from charging fees for up to 16% of the principal and Incurred interest owed on the loans if the borrower entered the government's loan rehabilitation program within 60 days of default. Okay, that is such a small protection, but still, it was a protection. And Trump's administration gratuitously came in and snatched it away. Why? 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 I don't understand. Well, so there's two theories on this. One is a simple one, which is, well, they need $54 billion in extra defense spending, so they have to cut everywhere to the bone. So if they have to be more vicious to American kids who are trying to get an education, live the American dream, well, Lockheed Martin had to get paid, Anna. I mean, but, we're, but the only people I looked into this because I was curious. I'm like, why would Trump do this? I mean, it's just again, it seems gratuitous, right? But the only people who profit off of these fees are the collectors themselves, okay? That's it, that money goes to the collectors. And look, it's not like other debt where you go into bankruptcy and you get rid of that debt. It's student loan debt, it follows you for the rest of your life. So the second these students make a, money, make a paycheck or earn any income, these debt collectors garnish the wages, right? And they add on the extra fees, which makes it, even more difficult to pay off. That not only affects the students, it affects everyone in this country. You can't stimulate an economy without a robust middle class, and we don't have that right now. They don't we have, care, they don't care. It's, it's gonna fuck everyone term. over, you guys don't understand how bad this is. This is so bad. Okay, so the collectors are business. Business is always right. The average American is always wrong. The average American must be crushed because business is always right. I don't know to what degree they've donated to the Republican Party, but I would tend to guess that they probably have. That probably has something to do with it. And the average American doesn't donate enough to politicians. So sad day for you, you don't get represented. And that's how this corrupt system works. Now, the second possibility as to why they do it is something I've had trouble accepting. I still have trouble accepting it to this day. But I think that people don't think like I do. Some people are malicious mm -hmm. and they think it's a zero sum game. They view the world in this Darwinian way where, and, and yes, back in the day when we were fighting against the lions and the bears and we were cavemen, it was literally Darwinian. This day, it's not a zero sum game. We could all win if the arrangement is right, but they don't view it that way. And they think, I already made it. I gotta kick the ladder down so nobody else makes it. Mike, I want me to have an advantage, I want my kids to have an advantage, I want my tribe to have an advantage. And these kids, if they're gonna get crushed by the collectors, good, good, then they don't have as much opportunity as me, okay? Now, I can't fathom that, so I tend to think that's probably this less likely alternative. But people think in different ways, they really do. I mean, Mitt Romney, Donald Trump, it's partly their bubble, right? Mitt Romney said, well, why don't you just ask your parents for a giant loan? <sighs> like, why don't, you, why don't you just get $250,000 from your parents, Anna? And start a business. Because in his bubble, it's like, that's what I would do, that's what I did. My parents just handed me tens of millions of dollars and then I started businesses, aren't I a genius? Donald Trump got handed $200 million. And he thinks, well, why doesn't your daddy give you $200 million? So, so business, collectors, of course, I'm gonna favor them over these goddamn students. This is insane, this is insane. And, and you know, my mind keeps going back to, uh, the primaries when we were having debates about 
the education policy that Bernie Sanders wanted to roll out versus the education policy that Hillary Clinton wanted to roll out. And you know, we were nitpicking because we wanted the best of the best. We got the worst, we got the absolute worst. Right now, there are about 8 million Americans who are defaulting on their student loan debt to the tune of $137 billion, okay? Half of those loans are from the program that will be affected by Trump's withdrawal of Obama's memo. They're they're known as FFEL loans, and it was, again, a program that was discontinued back in 2010. The federal government had subsidized and insured loans that were given by private companies, right? So first of all, you gotta cut out the middleman. If the government is insuring it, even if you're a conservative, why are we paying the middleman? It just increases the cost for us. And then finally, think about it, man. Look at how the powerful have structured society. The one debt you cannot get rid of is a debt that would get you an education, and allow you to live the American dream. If you're a giant bank that destroyed the global economy, oh, you can get rid of that debt, no problem. In fact, the taxpayers will pick it up for you. You get every advantage, even though you're the most culpable. The people looking for the American dream, the least culpable, the ones we should help the most, are the ones we crush the most. You will never, never get rid of that debt. It will be an albatross around your neck, because the powerful set up the system to favor them and to make sure that you never get up. And then they wonder, the Democratic Party wonders, the Republican Party wonders, their friends in the mainstream media wonders. What are you guys all upset about? And then Bernie Sanders proposes $75 billion for free education at the state college level. And they go, oh, they're so unrealistic, so unrealistic to actually care about Americans and their kids. Now, Trump puts $54 billion extra into spending. It's already got nearly $700 billion in spending, yep. but that's not unrealistic. That's awesome. Bailouts are awesome, defense contractor spending is awesome, the powerful are awesome, the powerless will get further crushed. And what are you guys complaining about? I can't quite figure it out. I work in the mainstream media, I'm a multimillionaire. I can't figure out what you guys are complaining about. You know who created journalism you could be proud of? You did. Our audience helped us hire an investigative reporting team. Now we're gonna go for a second. TYTnetwork.com slash go. Let's build the best reporting team in the country together.